Hey guys and happy Monday. Julia Neal here and I am sitting at my home office. Uh, it is the first day since I have been back from the Rise Business Conference in Charleston, South Carolina. Rachel Hollis led this conference with her husband, Dave Hollis, and they had so many amazing business owners, entrepreneurs, and just motivational speakers come out and share their tips of success and what has helped them get to where they are today in their lives and professionally. And this was the most impactful, I think, professional development experience I've had so far. We went because we've got some really exciting things in the works in reference to business, and we're always trying to become the best version of ourselves and put our best foot forward. So there was really nowhere else that we thought we should be when we saw that conference launch. And I'm feeling really drawn to bringing you guys as much of the information as possible because as I said, there were just so many times where I wished people were there because it was just so good and no one sold anything. It was just a matter of sharing knowledge and dropping quotes and inspiring people to be the best version of themselves, which touches my heart because that is my mission in life. So there were three days. The first day was about owning your past. The second day was about owning your present, and the third day was about owning your future, both personally and professionally, because as we know, being a business owner, it is all intertwined. Who we are personally, you know, very much overflows into who we are as a professional. So it was awesome. And over the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, depending on how much I want to spread it out, I am going to be sharing some videos with you on different elements of the conference and people that spoke. And today I really just want to give you one of the last pieces of information and kind of general overview of the last speech that Rachel Hollis gave on the last day. And that was, what is the one thing that she really thinks sets her apart in reference to, you know, how she's gotten to where she is today? which is just a tremendous place. If you don't know who Rachel Hollis is, you are missing out and you need to look her up and follow her on social media, get her books, listen to her podcast. Uh, she's just awesome and one of my biggest role models. So, and that was the one thing that sets her apart is that she stands up and rises through any experience that she goes through, any failure, any struggle, any issue. And I think that can correlate to literally every aspect of life. As human beings, we go through struggles, we fail, it's how we learn. And it can either, a struggle or an issue can either completely derail us and, you know, have us just fail entirely, or it can be the catalyst that helps us succeed and helps us grow in the way that we need to grow to not make that mistake again and really learn that from that failure. So saying that she stands back up and she rises through discomfort and through just failure touched my soul because when I look at, you know, just my life and everything I've been through and my entrepreneurial small business journey over the last five years, I feel like we all approach struggle and it's a matter of do we allow that struggle to stop us and keep us from succeeding and you know have it change our whole way of life or do we use it as a learning experience and move through it and become the person we are meant to be through that struggle struggle and failure is just a part of our journey it's a part that helps us grow as i've said and i really just wanted to bring that to you today because it's monday morning it's early november and we have less than two months of 2019 until 2020 and right now is really when we have the time to be thinking about you know our goals for the rest of the year, our goals for 2020, and starting to build that momentum in our life, whether we want to have goals professionally or personally or literally anything in our friendships in our life. So I just wanted to share that message with you today and stay tuned for a lot more messages coming soon. Again, as always, we have some big things in the works and we are finally getting ready to launch that in the beginning of the new year. So it's coming and we're very excited to share it with you. So I'm always here for you. Reach out if you need anything and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.